the one and only oasis in space, and we are invited to live and be part of it. Without water, life would not exist, as you know. It connects absolutely everything. Everything that we know. Think about it. The water system on this planet is like the circulatory system of life. From the tops of the mountains, down the streams, the rivers, the lakes, the aquifers, and eventually down to the ocean, where it then travels around, evaporates, goes back up to the tops of the mountains, and does it all over again. Even though our planet is covered in this blue liquid, less than 3% is fresh water, and only about half of that is readily accessible to us all. Yet, we use this life-giving liquid with great abandon. We use it as both an endless resource and as a garbage dump. Water has no passport. As Sropnus, you are over 35,000, representing 61 countries in just a European chapter and 95,000 strong, and over 120 countries worldwide. You are the caretakers of the planet. More than ever, women have not only had the instinct, the knowledge, the desire, but even more so these days, you're getting into positions of power where you can influence change, and you can be the champion for the stewardship of the planet, its health, and most importantly, the health of our children. In a provocative book called The She Spot by uh, author Lisa Witter, she states that more women give to charities, more women vote, more women volunteer, and many more women do social consciousness investing. Uh, some of my heroes, when I look back, were my grandmother, for example. My grandmother on my father's side spent more time on the Calypso than my grandfather, my father, and my uncle combined. She was the reason, this was the glue, the success for all those years. And with that, of course, my mother, despite the fact that uh, she still gives me hell for the Kentucky Fried Chicken, <laughs> um, was an expedition photographer for many decades. And of course, my sister, who I have the pleasure of working with on many occasions, and many, many more. For some, as you mentioned, the ocean is a blue crate of playground, and of course, it summons the passion to dedicate a lifetime to it. My case, the passion runs three generations deep, that was, as was mentioned. Over my short life, I've seen wondrous things. Gone through amazing places in some of the farthest corners of the globe. More than the lessons I've learned in high school or even in college, the Sonic world has formed a lifelong earning, or yearning, more importantly, to attempt to discover the ever more questions and answers that tantalize from the mysteries in the, light, in the underwater planet. Planet Ocean, as it should be called, is our unique little blue bubble. It is almost entirely covered in liquid leaving a mere 29% for creatures such as earthbound man. But if this isn't impressive enough, let's think of water and our planet in a three-dimensional sense. Water is 99% of our total living space. From 
the 22 canyons, including the Marianas Trench, could reach almost 11,000 meters in depth. The average depth of the oceans is about 3,800 meters. The pressure at the bottom is over 8 tons per square inch. There's kilopascal in there as well. <clears throat> Let me give it to you in a simple perspective. If you were to have a styrofoam cup the size of this building and you brought it to the bottom, it would be the size of a peanut by the time you get there. Let's put another perspective to it. Over 97% of all the species on this planet live in a water body, whether it be lakes, rivers, or ocean. We're one of the 3% that lives on land. Well, if this isn't impressive enough, think of it in kilometers cubed. 1.3 billion kilometers cubed. It's absolutely unimaginable. But enough about that. Let's, let's try and, and tantalize you through your, your uh, treasure hunting desires. If you take all the gold suspended in that 1.3 billion kilometers square of water, there's enough gold in the oceans to give every man, woman, and child on this planet four kilos of the yellow metal. Imagine what you do with four kilos of gold. Yet, up to this day, if you take all the centuries that we've been exploring the oceans, We've explored less than 5% with any accuracy whatsoever. Some would say less than 3%. And that's including, of course, my grandfather's and my family's exploits. 